Right, so behind me I've got two Toro Time Masters James picked up for £50 each. An absolute bargain in my eyes. We want to try and get them to about £400 to sell them. So we've got to go through them. Mike's going to check them out. They're going to be serviced, see what's wrong with them, see if there's any parts that are needed. And we're going to leave it up to Mike to see how much time he needs on them and how much money needs to be spent. Let's have a look and see if I've got any oil. I've got a drop of oil. Oh, we've got lots of crap in there, but no fuel. Yeah, that's the one with the fuel pipe that's missing, so. I do. So we'll pass on that one for a minute then. Do the same for this one. Oh, you put mother's, mother's sponge in there. Bit of bath sponge, is it? Yeah. There's two different engines on these as well. That's right. I just noticed. One's an 875. All the same size cut. Briggs engine. Yeah. And this one here is a thousand. So one thing with these Toro Time Masters, they're favourite with some of the landscape professionals in the market. Reason being they're a wide cut, they're a twin bladed system and no one else on the market has anything like it. But for this year, for 2024, WeBang are bringing out a model. So you might find Toro feel the crunch and they're going to have to up their game. No, I think it just starts right up on the cord. Well, you've got a kill switch there, so I see. You know what I had to do last time? Blow the tank. You had to... You had I had to, to put my lips around the seal and give it a good blow. You, you had to give them a blow, did you? I did. And it did start. Well, did you any good at it? Yeah. We well, fancy wrapping your lips around this one? Yeah, I'll wrap my lips around that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to put down the camera because it's, it's a two-handed job. This is. Well, we on, Mike. Bloody started two weeks ago. Shall we be a little bit naughty and just yeah. give it a bit of direct? Um... Yeah, let's be a bit naughty and put a bit of go-go juice in there. Michael, I've just seen something. Put the spark plug on, done. Yeah, you know when oh, I. Oh, you I know what this is? Sabotage, isn't it? No, it's not that. The other day you was there messing about with them. You thought, oh, I'll take that off. I'll stop. No, off. it wasn't that. We had to stop it. It doesn't stop, does it? And that's the only way I could get it to stop. So there you are. So you thought, I so. won't tell the old boy. I'll let him just buy there, considering his age. He can t pull, pull away on his string. <laughs> I thought a cha chap in your position would have checked all of that first, uh, to be honest. Well, you see, you hadn't gone into their day. Assumption is the mother of all fuck-ups, I'll grant you that, but... <laughs> You're putting on backwards, aren't you? There we go, Mikey. Bit on the smoky side. Yeah, it just cleaned himself out, hasn't he? It drives. Tug, 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 tug. There you are. It's one of those nice, nice mowers that starts and runs but doesn't actually cut no grass. Because it's got a broken cable. So that's one thing Mike's going to have to sort. Have a quick shifty in there. He's going to have a quick shifty in there. What's in there, Mike? Oh, dead mouse, I expect. Speaks for itself. Time master. Timing belt. Oh, I'll have to come back. Come back to that one then. So the big question is really, is why was the fuel pipe removed in the first place? So you had to rob some off this machine to fix another one, I don't know. Or well, there's something detrimental with the engine and it stopped the users actually using it. So, yeah. Also, look at the mess in there. Lovely, isn't it? Oh, God. Right, so Mikey's filled up this one. This is the one without the fuel pipe on. Let's see if he runs. Ah, oh, recoil. Got a bit of an issue with the recoil. Okay. Run. Bit smoky. Go on, Mikey. Oh, fuck a name! What's going on there? Some nice sparks, man. Bloody sparks and everything, wanna? Oh, shit! I drive. I drive. All is not lost, man. So, been one thing, it's t'other. It's been bloody pissing it down for weeks. And now it's Foggy's assholes. All because of this Toro Time Master just in front of us. What was that catching on then? 
You can, it's you can not get, yeah, it is that, that. Isn't it? And it, it's is, it is that. If you come around here, like, you can see the shine. Oh, yeah. So we'll leave Mikey to compile a list of parts he needs. He'll get the engine serviced up and check back in a bit. All right, so what have we found then, Mike? Right, and what's, what's the problems and can they be resolved? And well, are, are they easy? Is it going to cost us money? Well, don't get out and out there. That's fully floating yeah. wheel bearings. That's fairly self-explanatory. Yeah. So rabbit wire. When he's cold, he don't tend to start very well, and I think that's probably the oral choke. A little bit of bendiness underneath the front of the deck on the little deflector plate. That's just a bit of persuasion and welding. Your kill switch wants replacing. And this is a good one, is it? This, <laughs> yes, this is a good one, yeah. yeah. And what have we decided about the other one, then? Judge for yourself, to a degree. Give him a little bit of time, and he'll start smoking. So Houston, we have a bit of a problem. We have a smoky engine. So I think Mike's going to make the executive decision. Hang on, you put in the blame on me now, <laughs> isn't he? Eh? And use this one for spare parts. Smoky! Yeah, I think he wants to be revving a bit harder than that, Mike. Down here. Oh. So you oh. put the magic touch to it again, oh. Give it to for two seconds. <laughs> Look at that, look at the disappointment. Yeah. So what Mikey's going to do is he's going to do the wheel bearings, he's going to clean the carb on this one, he's going to do the cable, a little bit of welding repair underneath yeah, the deck. Go all for sleep. And he'll go in for sleep, he'll check back in tomorrow morning, hopefully it'll be done, hopefully there'll be some profit in it. Cream and jam on top. There you are, mm. make it look pretty. Right, what have you achieved then, Mikey boy? Well, it's got a mower that's a runner now. You've got a... Another cable on, swap the wheels over on from the other one, sharpen the blades, give it a bit of a service up, and a bad mower, eh? Ideal. It looks like he's pretty bloody tidy as well. He hasn't done a lot of, a lot of work, has he? Well, he's got a better deck than the other one, this. Yeah. And it's got the better engine, it's got yeah. the bigger engine. Mm. So we'll whack the covers back on. Yeah, right. Give him a clean. Give him a clean off, but yeah. blades oh. is. Straightened out the little panel at the front. Proper job. Good job there, Mike. Certainly onto a winner with that one. Don't know about that one there, though. Nine, but normally 21 inch rotary mower is normally the biggest sort of thing you get on the market, so. You like someone with a bit of a broad beam, do you? Hey? You like someone with a broad beam? A broad beam? Beam. Oh, a broad bean. Oh, broad bean. I thought, we were on a, I thought we were on the gardening channel then for a second. <laughs> right, so this is a donor machine here. As you can see, all the parts are still there, but we've, um, we've robbed a few bits and pieces off. I think, yeah, notably, it'd be just the cable that's missing on that one. But everything else is good. Of the engine is a little bit smoky, but if you're looking for a spare machine, I'm sure this one will probably go on eBay. Um, might even be auction. We'll decide by the time this video goes out. But yeah, if you look on the comments below, uh, we'll put a link up to eBay and then you'll be able to purchase it. Yo, wishy-washy, do you want a job? Cleaning this, I'm guessing. Yeah, make it look pretty, Richard. Make it look pretty. <laughs> yeah. Grumpy little leprechaun. <laughs> so here we find the lesser spotted Richard in his native environment, happy at home, washing machines day by day. Hello, Mr. Bubbles, how are you? Marvellous. It's like a bloody machine he is. He loves it. Right, so after we let Mike and Rich loose on these two machines, I think they've done a cracking job. This good one here, he's almost good as new. Look at him, he is perfect. So he'll be for sale, he'll be up on eBay. Now we were asking 400 quid. We've changed our mind. We're going to up the price of that. He's going to be 600 quid, including the VAT. So 500 pound plus the VAT. Still a bargain because online they're about 1400 quid brand new. He hasn't done very much. So link for that one will be below. And the spares will repair one. Grab yourself a bargain because we'll put that on an auction on eBay and the link will be below for that one as well. So if you're looking for a spare one or you're looking for a really good, decent one, then check them out. Two Toro Time Masters, both for sale. Right, we hope you enjoyed the video. Remember, subscribe to our channel so we can keep bringing you this content. We'll see you in the next one. Cheerio!